minutes, minutes long. It's like forty something minutes yeah. long. They showed their um, games, and that was that. Like, um, to me, I still think they should have did a conference. Yeah, see, the thing with me was um, because of that how they because like you know when they was first saying like like they're not doing a conference, they're gonna have like two like smaller things. I was like, why not do the conference and the two smaller things, you know? Yeah. Um, but they, you know, they they elected to do the direct, and they had like the behind doors um, meeting, and then they had, you know, the games at their booth and everything. But um, what they showed, they what they what I, I think they they show like wonderful one Pokemon uh yeah one yeah. one one Mario Kart Mario Smash. Kart um eight uh they showed Super Smash Bros they showed um Super, Super Mario, Mario 3D World yeah um <laughs> yeah they showed Xenoblade two or whatever the name yeah X yeah. X um it's, you might as well call it Xenoblade two everybody knows what, what that is yeah <laughs> or what it or what it looks like anyway um it might as well just stop uh beating around the bush. <laughs> Oh, they had that the, that new Donkey, Donkey Kong, Kong Donkey Kong game. Yeah, uh, retro. That was a big secret game. <laughs> and like to me, like with with that Donkey Kong game, and they was like, oh, retro's been working on it. I think that right. that that was like a small project. Retro's been working. I think retro's I hope so. on something else. Because they got some old uh, Naughty Dog developer people that used to work at Naughty Dog and stuff to that work at retro now. I'm like, there, there has to be more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, cause there's no way like they spent all that time working on Donkey Kong, and mm-hmm. that Donkey Kong looks like the same one that came out for the 3DS, like, right? And the Wii for you came out for the Wii. So, um, and they did they did said that Retro was not working on the Metroid, so they, they Star Fox probably either Star Fox or like a F Zero, right? It has to be one of those, um. Hopefully, you know, it's one of those franchises, and we'll see you soon. Um, what else? Um, the Mar- Mario Kart 8, that game, look, it looked it looked pretty good. Yeah, I just wish it was more like Double Dash, but as far as Mario Kart games go, yeah, it looks pretty dope. Yeah, like, you know? um, I, I think that was, like, one of their, their best game looking games. Yeah, which, which is crazy because it's a Mario Kart game. You know, people don't usually associate Mario Kart with, you know, good visuals, but yeah, it did look yeah, really good. Yeah, that was good. definitely one of their best looking games there. Um, now, I, I Maybe not like, like the Pixar Mario Kart graphics, games. but it did look good. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I do uh, Smash agree. Was, Smash was really good, too. Yeah. Yeah, it did look good. I, I was surprised to see Mega Man. Um, you know, and uh dude from Animal Crossing, Crossing and uh, Homegirl from uh, Wii Fit. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Wii Fit girl. <laughs> They got the Wii Fit Girl now. Um, that was a, a wow. I don't Wii understand Fit why they, they didn't put Little Mac from uh, Punch Out in there. You know what I mean? Like that. Do you think that would have made a lot of sense as like their new character or something like that? But yeah, they put the Wii Fit chick in there. And I was like, all right. I mean, it'll. I mean, it's you know, Smash Bros. are kind of known for their wacky, you know, people or whatever, but. Mm. I don't know. Well, don't I, forget, I, like, I they, they haven't revealed their whole roster yet. So. Well, you know, yeah, I'm just saying far as from what they revealed, but, I mean, I'll, I mean, it's one of those things you probably just, you know, play play yourself and see how it is, so. I'm, I'm sure it's it's not, it's uh, pretty cool, so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, to me, the most, the thing about that, that whole thing was, not even everybody, for one, everybody didn't catch it. Play. Everybody can find a stream that will play good enough for you to watch it. There's a lot of people watching that. Well, the streams I was on. Yeah, the the first stream that I that I was looking at, um, it it kept freezing like. Oh my god, reload! What the fuck? And, and wow. stopping, so I wasn't even able to really watch it clearly. But um, I, I looked I looked at the video like after the the record was done. It was on Nintendo's page, and I just watched it on YouTube, and I was yeah. able to watch, and I take my time and watch it. But um, but yeah, like um, with the 3D Mario game, I was expecting. Yeah, Miami too much of Ratchet and Clank all for one. Like I don't know if anybody played that Ratchet and Clank game, but that's literally like that, and then the the, the uh, Mario on the on the 3DS. Yeah, like, it's it's pretty much Mario 3D Land, but. Yeah, you know, 
it's it's on the you know Wii U and you can play four people and you can have a cat suit. Yeah, I was thinking of something a little bit bigger like Galaxy or something like you know what I mean like something a little more impressive than that. But like, I mean, it looks fun. So, sure it fun, but it just was it didn't really impress me though. Yeah, like it, it really it really didn't impress me as much either. But it it was it kind of like in my mind to say that you know maybe. You know, Miyamoto, they just put this game out for now. And, yeah, so some quick sales, yeah. You know, and they're working on, you know, that type of Galaxy or yeah. Sunshine. You In know, Nintendo's you defense, know, you know, this is their first um, HD console. So, you know, it might take them a second to kind of get, you know, to get to get used to, you know, working on a high-def system. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. But, um, like I said, like the Mario Kart 8 looked pretty good. Um, Mario Kart 8 looks incredible. Like, that joint does look really yeah. fun. Yeah, they. Like, Most definitely. Um, like, the X, you know, Xenoblade, I keep saying X, but Xenoblade 2. Right. Like, they show, like, an updated, like, trailer and, and, and gameplay and stuff. And that looks, that looks pretty good as well. Um, right. Like, with the whole mechs and, and everything like that. And, oh, like, that looks pretty good. Oh, hell um, yeah. Bayonetta 2, that looks pretty good as well. Um, I was surprised that, um, because, like, see, with the only thing, like, I didn't like about with the Direct was, like, it was, like, so short, but, like, they could have showed a lot more. Like, with Dr. Trey's video, like, what he was saying, like, <laughs> afterwards, like, they were showing, like, a whole, like, yeah, how, like, Mario, different features of Mario Kart and stuff. Yeah, yeah, like, they were showing all this extra stuff, like, they that they could have been showing, like, with the game. Like, with Bayonetta 2, like, they showed, like, a little, like, short clip, but there was, like, a whole like a, like, yeah, more, trailer more, more extended. Yeah, yeah, like, a whole extended thing that there was going on afterwards. Well, how how do y'all think they're going to do with Smash Bros. Uh, single player this time around? So remember in Brawl, how they kind of had, like, somewhat of a story. You, do, you play, like, two-player co-op and stuff. Like, how y'all think they're going to do it this time? Well, I've never played Smash, so when I get a really? Wii U, I, I've never played how, Smash. How do you manage that? <laughs> I, I mean, I wasn't blessed to own all the, the, the past consoles. But, I mean, you went to a, a friend that had an N64 or nothing like that back in the day? No, like, they didn't know? have Smash Bros, though. In the hood, most of, my, most of my folks didn't fool with, with Smash Bros like that. Man, that, was, that was the I've game never played, I've never played a Zelda. And I've never played yeah. Smash Bros. I'm, I'm so, sorry for your childhood. Oh yeah, the Zelda <laughs> too. They showed like the um, Wind HD, Waker. the Wind Waker HD. Um, oh, it was my really childhood good. was fine, thank you. My PS2 <laughs> and my Sega. Oh yeah, I mean I I had Sega and all stuff too, but <laughs> man, child, like, 64 was. was great. Oh I yeah, I. I no, I, I mean, I, 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 I didn't either, honest. but like all my friends had one. That's like that was that was I that was actually not. mad. I was actually mad. I was a little kid. My parents got me a PS One. I wanted sixty four so bad because back then I didn't understand how much stuff cost. I didn't know that sixty four cost a lot more. But I was I actually was pissed. Like I wanted N sixty four so bad. I used to go to my friend's house all the time just to play in my cousin's house and stuff like that. Just to play on the N sixty four and stuff back in the day. But yeah, that that was a that was a dope system. Yeah. But, and anyway. <laughs> but but yeah, as in. Smash Bros. and Zelda, I can't wait to try them because I never played them before. So that's going to be a new experience for me. The only, the only bad thing I can say about Nintendo's whole Direct was the games that everybody wanted is coming in 2014. So yeah. people, what we use really still don't have wait. It still ain't got nothing really I think, to doesn't Mario or One for 101, doesn't one of them come out this year, though? Uh, wonderful, 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 wonderful one, one, one come out September. Mm-hmm. What wonderful one on one comes out two days before Grand Theft Auto. I don't know well, who well, the hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they said the next game. Don't forget, <laughs> Pikmin come out in August. Nobody. Yeah, that's not really like the only Pikmin's really like a con. I mean, for the the diehard Nintendo fans, that's that's big, but that's not really like yeah, that I mean, systems. You know, like Mario, Zelda, Mario Kart, Smash. Like those are like. The that's like the big you know system seller you know Nintendo oh, titles you know I think do, do, and Metroid Metroid as well but they didn't show that three D three D Mario games coming out this year yeah and Donkey Kong 
Right. <laughs> yeah, and the Wind Waker HD come out. Yeah, October. Wind Waker HD. That's to me, Wind right. Waker HD is probably going to outsell all of them. For real? Yeah, that that Thanks comes so. out. That comes out in October. Yeah, I'm saying. I think I still think when Wind Waker HD probably will outsell all of them, just for the sake of most people are are not too fond of Donkey Kong. One because they just got one like two years ago, so that that's still kind of fresh. Three Mario, most people don't want that because it don't look right. It don't look it, like Galaxy. <laughs> yeah, but oh yeah, and what about the Sonic the Sonic Lost World? That looked like Sonic with Galaxy. Yeah, yo, that's I was saying the same I know, thing right? myself. Like I was looking yeah, at the, that Sonic game and I was like, yo, this game looks more like a three D Mario than the Mario that they got, like. Mhm. Does that come out this year or does that come out next year? I Honestly, know. I'm I'm not positive. I right, have to look that up. I'm not sure. But that game, that game does look pretty good though. Um, I'm not like a huge Sonic fan. Uh, um, but just looking at the games and the gameplay, I see. It looks oh, pretty look, good. Oh, uh, look, even look the EPS drivers. version looked good as well. Um, I just don't know, man. I, I think I think they also coming out with Mario Party at the end of this year too. Yeah. But the to me, the heavy hitters are not coming yeah. till 2014. The, the, to, to me, the reason why people bought the system for those games. Yeah, it's, it's I was be... surprised that that Bayonetta two is coming out in 2014 because I I remember that mm-hmm. was supposed to be like a launch window title. I know, right? Wonderful one on one was too. Yeah. And Pikmin yeah. three. That's what I'm saying. Some really going on with that system. Like all these these games. Like it's one thing if it was just like one or two, but it's just like damn near every game got pushed back. It feels like you know. And then like, like, like you'll say, all the all the big heavy hitters aren't coming out till next year and stuff. But next next year's gonna be a battle because you know it'll be PS4, and Xbox One's first full year, and then Nintendo will finally you know have their heavy hitter titles out and stuff. So it's it's gonna be crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. I, I I wanted you know I'm gonna be waiting to see like which characters and stuff gets revealed for you know the Smash Bros. Um. Me I'm gonna be by like next year. You know I'll get a Wii U because by then the games will be there that I want to play, like yeah. Mario Kart Eight, um, Smash Bros. Um, X, um, the Zelda. Year, the you know, Blade game. What you say? Is it the Zeno Blade game? Yeah, I keep saying year? I keep saying X, but yeah. The well, well, no, so that's what I'm saying. That's supposed to be coming out next year. I think that's supposed to be coming out next year. Oh, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Um, what else? What was it? What else was I saying? The um, the Wind Waker HD. You know, by then, you know, they'll have some games where I can, you know, just get and play. I, yeah, I, that's, that's the same for me. I'll wait for the Wii U to give me games that I actually wanted to play. Yeah. Like, you see, with me, Nintendo's always, like, always my secondary console. And I just get, like, the exclusives on yeah, there. Yeah. Um, you know, I've, all, I've always been, you know, mo- mostly PlayStation. I play most of them. You know, the PlayStation exclusives and the third party stuff on there. My Nintendo consoles, I always get the exclusives. Even though Nintendo said they want to go back for the hardcore and get all these third-party uh, games on here, but, you know. Yeah. They're not doing a real good job at it. Or maybe yeah, it's not we, even them. I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I, after the whole DRM thing came up, I didn't... That, that kind of fucked them over, I think. Yeah, it kind of makes more sense now. It's not even because the system is underpowered. So I don't think it's that. People being the developers being butthurt pretty much. Not even yeah, it's just that. Even well, I don't think about DRM stuff. I don't yeah. think the, the base isn't there yet, and I they just don't see it making money. Yeah, true. I the the base is well, just not there yet. For one, for one, because the games aren't there yet. Once those heavy hitters come out, then we'll really see the developers really pushing towards the Wii U, depending on how it sells. Yeah. I Their think that, that next gen might be kind of like uh, the PS2 gen. Like, I think the Wii U was kind of like their next GameCube, sort of, and then like 
so far from how everybody is pretty positive about the PS4 is just kind of seeming seeming like how it was the PS2, and then you got you know Xbox One and stuff like that. So, so at least so far, that's what it seems like. Yeah, that's 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 how it seems like to me. But we we would just have to wait and see. Yeah. Um. You know, at I guess you know by this time next year or this this time well next year by holiday season we'll see like by then like which games is will be out and whatnot and which console has you know the better the better um experience overall based thing. oh yeah yeah install base as well and everything like that well, pretty much Cause, you yeah, know, a lot of people don't know the install base means a lot. Oh yeah, that's how the PS2 got all those third parties who was back in the day because it had that big ass install base. Yeah, cause like to me, like to to be honest, like back in then, like PS2 days and whatever, like, I was just like playing games. Like I didn't, I wasn't looking at worrying about sales, and install base, none of that. But like you know, once I got here on YouTube and everything, people were talking about like sales and all that stuff and I started looking up at the numbers and I was like mm-hmm. like dang like PS2 like destroyed the competition yeah like, and you have to figure and the one thing a lot of people don't know is you gotta figure out why why did it do that cause of the games there you go <laughs> not, not even the games it was just the whole well I think it for one it was cheaper if I'm not mistaken well, that, you gotta remember, the one that original Xbox came out, that was their first system, so they kinda still had to be proven, and then Nintendo was, was trying to go back to kinda the hardcore thing, kinda like once again, kinda with the Wii U, so it was kinda in that weird, uh, awkward kinda state, so I think everybody just kinda fought to the PS2, because there, there basically was no real competition outside of like Halo, and then, you know, a few of Nintendo's first party, it was just kinda like, you know, where you basically it's, it's kind of you know, where else you're gonna go, you know what I mean? So and then yeah, it had so now the third parties kind of usually support the PS2 more, so it just kind of forced gamers to kind of go there, and then it, it just was a big the big circle pretty much. But I doubt some of that will happen again to that extent, but we might see something similar like that again this generation, unless you know the other two guys kind of fix their shit. We'll see. And, and I want to see PlayStation One did good too, though, right? Didn't PlayStation One really, really outsell a lot of competition? That that was a lot to do with the whole disc versus cartridge, because that's what a lot of third party developers were pissed at Nintendo for sticking with uh, cartridge for the N64. So they're like, "Fuck it, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go over here the PS One." And then you know, you saw what happened. <laughs> that's that's what happened with that, you know. So uh, we'll we'll see though what happens this day. It should be pretty uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, we'll see you um, you know, I just want to see, like, how, um, you know, especially, like, with Nintendo, like, with their console being at 350 and the PlayStation 4 being at 400 like, mm-hmm. they already said that they're not going to do a price cut. I think that, like, Yeah, well, we'll see if they if they still sing, sing the same tune in the next, <laughs> you know, six months or so. Or, or they might, what I might see them doing, they might keep it the same 350 but they might like throw add, a bunch of shit in there. Like, like add like a you know more games into that type of bundle. Oh yeah, something like that. You know, it might be a like, Monster Hunter in there or something. You know, like, whatever. But like a downloadable, like a downloadable game, and maybe or maybe two games in there or something like that. Cause mm-hmm. at like you know, so PlayStation Four being at four hundred, that, that's like the sweet spot right there. You know. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that when I heard that part, I'm like, yeah. I knew, because I, people moves, you know, in a Google Hangout, watching all of the um, conferences and stuff, one of the guys said it outright. He was like, you know what? If He was like, after the whole conference was over and he got, like, to Square Enix. And he after he saw that, he was like, yo, if Sony makes this price $400, it's over. It's over. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's over because it's, it's a cheaper, it's cheaper price. Plus, the system is more powerful. Yeah, exactly. And and it's got the, the games to go with it and none of the policies. Yeah. Yep, this, and the truth is in the word. pudding. <laughs> the truth is in the pudding because even, even Sony and Nintendo stocks went up. Mm-hmm. 
even Nintendo's went up. So oh. that should tell you something. Yeah, like like I said, it's gonna be interesting to see oh, yeah. what's gonna happen. Like I said. Um, yeah, hopefully 2014 pro- is going to be the year. Yeah. And then with Sony saying that they have 20 exclusives and 12 of them being new IP, and we haven't even seen them, except for, you know, um, the order. The order and, you know, the, the same four that they showed at the, the reveal. You know, there's still 15 more exclusives to, to come out. So we'll Yeah, see. like, what are the studios, like? Cause Naughty Dog, I know they've been the other half of their studios probably been working on something else. Yeah, mm-hmm. and see, but Naughty Dog, they usually show reveal their game at um the VGA, so we'll probably see a reveal for their next game at the VGA. Cause that's what that well, that's that's usually how they've been doing it. So they probably might show it at the VGA this year. Maybe I don't know if it's going to be on Charter Four or Jack Four. Or who knows? It's gonna be interesting, nah. And then when I they bring that. back Jack Four, I might cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, because to me, I, I think they need to give Uncharted a break. Yeah, they do. Give it like a you know, like three year, th- three year break or something like that. Maybe even more. Whatever. Maybe not like till 2015, 2016, like. <laughs> I think they are though because usually don't they 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 usually don't do like this they don't usually switch up um their game they usually stay set on one game then they do sequels to it every generation right as they have Naughty Dog does it yeah, yeah Naughty Dog always yeah. like they always do like a new IP and then then they come out with you know two more games and then they work on something else on the next generation. But yeah, but being but, but be that but, but they but they were saying yeah, that um, so they were saying that they're using the same engine for the PlayStation Four, so they can at probably, least at least so, starting off anyway. Yeah. So they could probably you make um Uncharted Four because you know they know that it's gonna sell. So yeah. So yeah, we'll just have to wait and see for that. Wow, just ran right into that. Mm. Yeah, I mean, the, I mean, what they, the last of us, of which we're playing right now, I mean, is a great start for Naughty Dog. Showing I'm getting that my ass again, I'm getting my ass killed too. Um, but it's showing they can do something different and not be the mm. same as Uncharted because the game feels. Yeah, it actually plays way different. People are like, oh, this is just Uncharted with zombies. Like, no, like this plays way different actually. Yeah, mm. it it's using me. the same freaking. It's using the same um engine. Yeah, so it looks similar, but it it does play differently though. It's not it's nowhere near as as uh, as, as much of a running gun as Uncharted, which is not bad, but it's not it's not that style. Yeah, and then like my my friend, he because like he 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 thinks that the Uncharted games are overrated and whatnot, and for whatever reason, he was gonna get this game. Like he got. On, on right. Last of Us Day One, but like before, I told him like, I know you're not gonna like this game, so you shouldn't even get it. But he did end up getting it, and he told me that he found it to be boring. When I, I was like, well, right. you know that's I mean that's your opinion and everything. I'm enjoying Probably. the game and everything like that. And he took the game, yeah. back, and I was just like, well, yeah. I, I told you like, <laughs> you're not you yeah. Like I knew I know he wasn't gonna like the game. He, you know, but he still got it, and he said he didn't like it, so he took it back. But you know, I'm enjoying the game. You know, a lot of yeah, it's really good in the game. So, you know, I mean, but to me, people just want more of the same damn thing. And from a like when I first saw the game, I, I had my skepticism. I'm like, please don't tell me it's gonna play exactly like Uncharted. And once I played that demo. That was it for me. I knew off top it was nothing like Uncharted. Yeah, right. Yeah, they, they did a good job to me. Yeah, I'm. A, I only got like four hours into the game, um, God, so man. far. Been pretty busy this weekend. Wow, they are really like post. But 
Uh, so far, I, I've been enjoying it. I've, I've you know, I'm, I'm enjoying the story. The gameplay is something different. You know, the whole crafting system and things like that, gathering supplies, and you know, you have to like really think about using your resources and not just you know oh, wasting the- ammo and everything like that. Like how I just did right there. I just threw a damn uh, Molotov yeah, and it bounced off the damn side of the the wall and I killed myself. Wow. Wow. And the the the, the little arc thing I was aiming at, it was aiming right at the dude, but when I threw it, it like bounced off the wall and blew up on me. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Yeah. But anyway. And then the game, the game is, um, you know, I've just, when I've been playing, I've just been like looking at the environment and stuff like Game is beautiful. Like they really yeah. did a good job with it too. You know, like it's not like like <laughs> that picture of Call of Duty, uh, goes where like the sun was one place and then like the shine was coming out from another place. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I was looking at one part like, like the sun was like coming like through the trees and and everything. Like, yeah, wow. I was, like, like this game was you know game was really well done. Oh shit! Yeah, they they did a good job. Yeah. yeah, they actually did do a really good. To me, this is more fun than Uncharted Three. What the multiplayer or the single player? Multiplayer. Oh uh, well, Uncharted well Uncharted Two's multiplayer was better than uh <laughs> Uncharted Three. Yeah. Um, but the single player is man. It's it's different. Like you can't really even. I mean, yeah, you can compare it to Uncharted, I guess, but it's it's not like the same genre, you know what I mean, like, which is cool, like, they didn't just copy and paste it with the different characters or something like that, they actually made a different game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah they like, if you play, copy and paste it, this is nothing yeah, like and if, if you play that, uh, that single player with some surround sound headphones, man, when them clickers come out, that junk is insane. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I've been playing with the post headsets, too. <laughs> yeah, the sound quality in that game is really good. Yeah, the guns to the whole the zombies moaning and clicking and like yeah. some people are like, man, I don't want to use listen mode. And so I'm saying, shit, in a game like Last of Us, you need to use listen mode. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's certain like clickers and, and sometimes it's like clickers and then it's sometimes the guys that be moaning. Both of them are in the same game. I'm not saying they're in the same like in the area. Area. So you have to yeah. differentiate it so you need to know their pathways and how they, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff. I'm not saying it's needed, but yeah. it's a good thing to People have. use it in Batman. I mean, BG had a good point in one of his videos. He's like, how come nobody complained about that in Batman? You know. Yeah. Well, right Batman right. And, and Hitman. <laughs> Hitman yeah. has the same thing, too. But, yeah, like, uh, but I, I, I guess, like, I guess that's it. I guess we can wrap, wrap this up, or... Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. So I'll give y'all, y'all one question though. Ask y'all one question. Top your top games from E3 that you saw. Like top five. Top top five, top three games that you like. Yo, I would buy that right now if I had the money. All right. Um, yeah, you go ahead. But I, 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 I'm gonna do top five because top three. How about that? Yeah. Okay. So this is not in no particular order. These are just. Five games. Um, Metal Gear Solid Five. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Final Fantasy Fifteen. Um, see, Kingdom Hearts Three. I don't know if that was gameplay or not. I was excited for it, but I don't know if that was actual gameplay. So I'm not actually gonna put that on there because I'm I, I'm talking about like games I seen gameplay. Um, then the third game, Infamous Second Son. That looked great. Um, The Division. That was nice. And I'm going to say Mario Kart 8. Those were my five games that I, I liked. Yeah, the same. Uh, for me, let's see. i say probably that the Xeno game or X, Project X or whatever. Um, Final Fantasy 15, because that shit just looked too damn amazing. That was probably one of the best trailers I, I saw at the thing. Um, let's see. Metal Gear Solid 5, definitely. Um, Infamous Second Son and probably Titanfall. Okay. Okay. Like for me, I I guess that's in order. Um, my number one game that I saw there 
had to be the division. Um, vision just looks so cool mm-hmm. and different. Like it in its third person. You no, know, you don't really see a whole shitload of third person. You see a little bit, but you don't see like you do first person. Um, the vision. Then I would have to go Planets vs Zombies two. Plant it was Plants vs Zombies two. That game just looked fucking fun. <laughs> oh yeah, that that game looked uh, that game looked real. Like, oh well, yeah, crazy. it did. Like, yeah, it's nothing so like fun. the it's first one. Yeah, it's really, it feels like a, like a borderlands with plants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did look fun. Yeah, like, definitely. I'm going to say that was my second game. Then Infamous, Second Sign. Um, Titanfall. Titanfall really, really, really uh, impressed me with Respawn. I just, I just knew, I was like, oh, it's going to be another Call of Duty. They surprised the hell out of me. Um, oh, I forgot about Destiny. Damn, that's <laughs> yeah. Or I'm trying to think, what can I? Cause I want to say Final Fantasy 15, but I don't know, man. Um, I'm trying to think. The Order 1866 actually looks interesting. Um, yes. it is different. It's a new IP. I can always get Metal Gear Solid. I already, I already know what that game. So which one? Um, and something Sony's never done before. So we got to see how how that plays out. And it's by the guy who work for, which is something different for them too. Mm-hmm. So I think, yeah, I think yep. those are my five because that game just looks real intriguing, like werewolves or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm waiting to see like when we're gonna see some gameplay and stuff for it, and you know, see what that game is really about. Yeah, that game's very, that game right there intrigued me more than, like, at, when it comes to, oh shit, when it comes to, um, actual, actual games that we didn't know about, like, that intrigued me the most. Um, yeah, of course, Kingdom Hearts and, and Final, Final Fantasy had a nostalgia, but that Order 1866 is something we've never seen before. Right. So, it's a little different kind of feeling when you already know what you're getting with Final Fantasy and, Kingdom Hearts 3. We already know what we're going to get. But that Order 1866 is something totally new, totally new idea, and I can't wait to see what they actually bring to the table with it. Yeah, I, I feel you. I feel you on that. Because I didn't know what the hell was going on in that trailer at first. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's it's going to be interesting to interesting to see what's going to happen mm-hmm. with that game. Um that gameplay one. It better be co-op. I saw three people in there, but it better be uh, four-player co-op. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I guess we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll see how, you know, like I said, we'll see how everything comes out by, you know. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, my God. Uh, next year, you know, we'll get, especially get a lot of information about some of these games and some more gameplay and everything like that and Matter of fact, question: What other studios that Sony owns that did not show anything? Oh. Guys that do Siphon Filter. Let's see who else. Um, uh, the so, so, so Sony Europe, Sony Liverpool. Um, they know Liverpool three. got closed down. Okay, well Sony so, so Sony Europe, one of the guys that do like the Getaway and shit. Like, um, the Media Molecule wasn't there at all. You know what I said? <laughs> yeah. Um. So I mean, that's the like three or four right there. I mean, um, Sony San Diego. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sony San Diego. The people um, that do like M- MLB and all that stuff. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you said Sony Ben. Um. Yep. People that do, I guess, Siphon and stuff. They still got a lot of studios. Yeah, Polyphone. They, they got about Nintendo, fifteen. You know, they're making that. Gran Turismo. So. Oh well, yeah. Um. Um, Guerrilla Cambridge, they're make they're making kills on mercenary. Yeah. Um Sony Santa Monica, you know, one team just got done making Ascension and then, you know, one team I'm guessing they're working also with Ready at Dawn making the order. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well I or I don't know if if it's like the like the whole second team doing it or if there's like another team, like as well, I don't know because I know Sony Santa Monica is a big studio. As oh well. yeah, 
because they do like yeah, a I lot have of no idea. Like they like their name is like on a lot of games as well. Like, publish yeah, they publish Journey. Yeah, they publish Journey. They publish um sound sound shapes. Yeah, you know they publish a lot of games. So um, they might not even be working on um the order eighteen eighty six. So I think it might that game might just be ready at dawn. So we'll we'll have to get more information. Um, Japan Studios working on that. Uh, yeah. Because they own like twelve studios right now, uh, so we know Naughty Dog is working on something. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm surprised that they don't own more Japan studios. But well, we're still waiting on the Last Guardian. That shit's ever coming out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, the Last Guardian. They said they put it on hold. I just think that it's not coming. They just need to let us know, so we'll stop asking. Yeah, I know. Uh, but I think um, Yoshida said that it's an active development right now.